Good morning, this is Carol with Adios Fat Journey. It is Monday morning and I am here today to check in. For the sake of accountability, I'm about to report to you something terrible that I did over the weekend. So Saturday I was supposed to go to a wedding that I did not go because my husband got the stomach virus that had been going around in the house and he was not able to go anywhere. Um, that said, it was very hard for me to be able to drive two and a half hours with four kiddos and the traffic. And so we all stayed home to support him and um, help him get healthy. I hate having my kids scooped up in the house. So I wanted to take them to the park. And then I realized that yesterday was really chilly and windy. And Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. So I took my kids to Mickey D's again. That said, they ate and they left about 20 french fries that were really hot just staring at me and I ate them. Anything after six french fries would have kicked me off of my 20 total grams carb intake a day. 20 french fries is approximately 80 grams of carbs. That there, completely out of ketosis. And I knew this and I did it anyway. And... I turned around and had two chicken wings from Popeye's and a small chicken thigh. Not the breading, y'all, just the chicken. And about 8.15, I texted Charlie. I was like, Charlie, I just had some Popeye's, but that's okay because 8.30, I'm starting my fast again. Why am I starting my fast again? Because without even testing, I already know I am out of ketosis. Yesterday morning before all this happened, I was in ketosis, full ketosis. Now, I'm going to, last of last night, 8.30, I started my fast. So 8.30 today is my first 24-hour fast. Um, my It takes me a long time to get into ketosis, even though I'm doing keto. Keto is 75% fat, 20% protein, 5% carbs. And this is what your macros should look like on a daily. But because of my medical conditions, after I lost some weight, I just plateaued and I was not able to get back into ketosis. So I started the water fast because I wanted to kind of like reboot my system and just try to get my body back into ketosis. And I successfully did that. But it took me four days. And I broke my fast Tuesday. And once I broke my fast, I kept eating keto and every day I would test and I was still in ketosis. Up to yesterday, before I had the french fries, I was in ketosis. This morning I tested, it came back negative. Not one bit of a trace of ketones. So long story short, I am starting to fast again. I don't know if this time I will be able to successfully complete it. It's really hard to get back into ketosis once you get out of ketosis. And each time you jump out of ketosis and you start back, it's harder. Um, it's going to be difficult. Uh, the keto flu symptoms are real, which is like the nausea, the headache, the light um, dizziness, lightheaded, all that fun stuff for the first three to four days. It's going to be very strong this time around. For those of you who are doing a low carb diet, for those of you who are on Atkins, Beachbody, um, Southwest diet, any type of low carb diet, please don't do that. If it's hard for you to get into ketosis, don't put fries in your mouth. That's like the worst carb you can actually put in your mouth is the french fries. Stay away from that mess. Stick to your diet. I am here telling y'all I am human. I was weak and I gave in. And now I am out of ketosis and starting all over from zero. So don't do that. Thank y'all for watching. I'll keep you updated later today about how my fast went. If I was able to complete 24 hours of not eating and keep y'all updated. Have a wonderful Monday. Stay positive and spread love and positivity. Bye-bye.